Good morning, it's Wednesday, August 16th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, When Your Answers About Faith Bring More Questions Than Comfort. And our scripture is Matthew chapter 8. Then Jesus got into the boat and started across the lake with his disciples. Suddenly a fierce storm struck the lake with waves breaking into the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him up, shouting, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. Jesus responded, Why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, and suddenly there was a great calm. The disciples were amazed. Who is this man, they asked. Even the winds and waves obey him. Among the disciples were fishermen like Peter, accustomed to storms, even the fierce ones. They were familiar with violent storms which are not uncommon on the lake, as winds can rush in suddenly from the west or the east and generate waves over ten feet high. If you fish the Sea of Galilee, you learned not to stress over storms. But this storm was more than enough to have the disciples wish they'd stayed ashore or at least check to see if their wills were up to date. They thought that they were on the brink of joining their buried ancestors. And there was their leader, Jesus, sleeping like a baby in the back of the boat. What a time for a nap. Mark's gospel account showed how much this event overwhelmed him. Normally, Mark just wrote the facts, quick and to the point. But of this, Mark adds empathetic pathos, details of just how scared they were. Mark chapter 4, Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up, shouting, Teacher, don't you care that we're going to drown? From Matthew, we get the sense of their faith. When they were at wit's end, they went to the one they knew had answers. From Mark, we get the sense of insecurity they had. Did Jesus not care? From both disciples' accounts, we see the answer. Jesus told the winds and the ten feet high waves to hush, and they did. And Matthew records what that did to the disciples. Jesus' answer brought more questions. Who and what kind of man is this? Perhaps you've been in that kind of situation. You were in trouble physically or emotionally or financially or relationship on the rocks. You were drowning in some way, so you cried out to God and an answer showed up. You were grateful for the rescue, but when the dust settled, all you could do was ruminate like a cow chewing its cud on the reasons why. Why did this happen to you? What? What was God thinking to put you through that? When? When is life going to be normal? And how? How am I ever going to get to where I really want to be? It's like the disciples experienced. Jesus had the answers, but they brought more questions than comfort. They were uneasy enough to ask the question, what kind of man is this? But they did have that little spark of faith to row back to land and put one foot in front of the other and continue following Jesus. After the cross and resurrection, we find that faith grew into the power of God in their lives, which changed the course of history. And being in the boat with that source of power on that night, with all those nerves stretching their faith to the limit and beyond, they knew it was real. For you today, today's faith will be enough for today's storms, as long as you stay in the boat with Jesus. He's a better weatherman than any you've seen on TV. Meet you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.